What's going on guys, it's Whispin here and I'm back with another video and today I'm here on the Pixelmon server once again and yeah, so the winner for the random shiny egg from last episode is actually right here in chat Bjorn434, not sure if I said your name right, could be Bjorn, I don't, I don't know, Bjorn sounds, sounds, yeah, okay. Anyway, so if you guys want a chance to win a random shiny Pokemon, make sure you just go ahead and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below and like the video um yeah so we're actually at like 970 subscribers so almost at a thousand not really sure what i'm gonna do for a thousand subscribers if anything i might just I might just wait till 2000 to do something um but yeah so let's go ahead and actually the first thing i want to do today's episode is head to spawn and grab our rare candy haven't grabbed it for probably about a day and a half maybe two days um, the timing is a little bit off. I'm probably going to change it from 24 hours down to like 21 hours. And that way you can easily get it at the same time every day without having to worry. Because if it's 24 hours, then you're going to be getting it later and later and later every day. And it just kind of gets to be a pain. But what we are actually going to do with this rare candy, I already have a plan for it. Um, we're going to actually go ahead to the move relearner over here. I haven't used him yet this series and go with our Tyranitar and teach our Tyranitar. Can we actually use him? All right. Um, let's see. We want to teach him crunch and we want to replace dark pulse with crunch so there we go um we spin our rare candy on that that's what you can do right here and this way our uh tyranitar now has a physical attack that is dark does the same amount of damage as dark pulse but it's a physical move which means if you look at our stats uh our attack stat is 325 which that goes with crunch and our special attack is 194 which that was what dark pulse was using so now we're going to be using our higher stat so that's a lot better um should really help us out in battles all right, guys, so I want to get back into breeding. I haven't really done anything with it, but my plan is to actually go ahead and probably try and get a modest horsey. And I know that our Lapras and our horsey are in the same egg group. However, I'm not sure. All right, so he's only going to be able to breed with this this one. And I'm not even sure if this is going to work. I think it should, but um, let's check out what... Okay, so that is that guy. Um, Ivy's for need to go ahead and turn on chat. Um, that's all right. Um, let's see. They're, they're kind of terrible, but let's check out Ivy's five. Um, okay. So they kind of, they have like, like his speed is really bad, but his speed is really good. His attack is really good, but his attack is really bad. So they kind of even out. Um, so this should work. I want to go ahead and actually put a Everstone on the Lapras though, just to be able to pass over that nature. Um, and we're actually going to need to go ahead and just dig out this area down here where we have our breeding machine and just, I think, fill it in with water. All right, guys, so it looks like Horsey likes Lapras only a tiny bit more every day, but Lapras likes Horsey a lot more every day. Now, I'm not entirely sure why that is. Does Horsey actually have two different types? No, just water type. It might have something to do with the fact that Horsey is in both the, um water and dragon egg group so it only gets half as many points as lapras since lapras is only in the water egg group but um yeah not too sure about that um it, they will breed but it will take quite a while to get that first egg but once that happens we should have a pretty decent horsey hopefully if the ivs get passed over correctly um yeah so let's go ahead and grab our team back out i did throw them in our pc when we were Taking out this Pokemon. Did I totally lose everybody on my team? Um, Breloom, which Breloom? This Breloom? No. This Bre No, this Breloom. Crap, where did my Breloom go? Did I lose my Breloom? Oh, here he is. I got such a mess of a PC. And then we have... I'm not even really sure if we're missing anyone. Um, I think this is our main team. I know we have like Charizard and Mightyena and uh, Scyther, which we'll just throw them down here so they're all a little bit more organized. All right, guys, so I have been kind of looking for a counter to Lucario because a couple people have Lucarios, and they're just totally wiping my whole team. Now, I'm not entirely sure who is the best counter, but I'm pretty sure uh, Gorluk, Gorluk, whatever his name is, I'm pretty sure he'll work, work pretty well against them. So I'm going to go ahead and try and catch this guy. However, I need to go ahead and grab my Scyther before we do that. So we'll just go ahead and swap him out so we have room on our team when we catch him. Um, but yeah, let's see. Will false swipe even bring him down? I'm not sure, um, if we can actually hit it. Oh, it doesn't affect him. Okay, this might be a little bit harder than I thought, and we one-shot him. Okay, well, that sucks. That That is massive amounts of sucking. Um, <laughs> I don't know why it doesn't affect him, I guess. I, yeah, I have no idea. That's kind of weird. Um, but I guess we'll just have to go ahead and look around for another one 
and yeah hopefully that one wasn't like the perfect nature and perfect ivs um i don't really see any right off here so i'm gonna keep looking around and try to find another one to catch all right so there actually is a go lurk which is the elev uh, el elevation el evolution of the pokemon that we were trying to catch so i'm not really too sure how we're gonna go about this since false swipe doesn't affect him However, I think going ahead and putting him to sleep, that should help quite a bit. And then, um, okay, so let me go ahead and actually Google what is super effective against uh, Golurk. Golurk? Golurk. I really should learn how to say Pokemon's name. Okay, so Water, Grass, Ice, Ghost, and Dark are all super effective against this guy. So we don't want to move any, use any of those. Normal types and fighting type moves, they don't affect him at all. And that is the main reason that I want one of these. So... Fighting type moves have zero effect on him, which means a Lucario, which primarily uses fighting type moves, will have a little bit of a challenge to actually beat this guy. Um, he is ground type as well, so if we can get an earthquake on him, then we'll be good to go. We'll just destroy every single uh, Lucario that's ever existed. Um, I don't want to do too much damage, though. That's kind of what I'm worried about here. I don't want to like hit him with a... Uh, I don't want to do anything there. Um, I think we should probably go with rock type moves just because, um, okay, we don't really have any rock type. Um, oh man, this is difficult. I think I'm going to go with, uh, I don't know. I don't think a night slash will one shot. Let's go wing attack. Wing attack just does base damage. Night slash is double damage. This is all really, okay, that did a lot of damage and he woke up. So let's go ahead and switch back to Breland, put him to sleep and then just spam ultra balls until we catch him. That should hopefully work. All right, guys, so we actually did just catch him first try, so we're going to go ahead and look at his moveset and his stats because he is level 52, which is kind of a high level to catch a Pokemon just because they have a random moveset. Um, okay, Brave Nature, attack is good, and speed we don't really need because it's this guy. He's like a clunky tank that can't even move at all, so that's actually a pretty decent nature. I would have probably preferred Adamant, um, but I guess since he's going to go up against Lucario's, it's not like he was going to outspeed him anyway, so, so this should be pretty good move set all right so he does know earthquake and that is what we needed um he learns earthquake at level 50 so i was a little bit concerned that he wouldn't know it but it looks like he does know it um shadow punch decent move um lands without fail not really the best nightshade all right the user i've never seen this move before the user makes the target see a frightening mirage okay that doesn't matter uh it inflicts inflicts damage matching the user's level okay so right now it'll inflict 52 damage, which is worse than Shadow Punch. But once we get up to level 100, it'll do 100 damage, which will be really powerful. Um, now I'm not too sure if it's actually physical or special attack. Um, we'll have to look at that. All right, guys, so we just showed up here. And let's go ahead and actually get right into this. So I don't want my Smeargle to get one shot. I do want to try to use him. Who is he? He's going to go with a Mew. Um, oh crap, that Mew's probably level 100. Um, I guess let's go with our Tyranitar out first. I don't want to waste my Tyranitar, but, okay, level 52. He's probably going to swap him out when I pull out this Crunch, I'm guessing. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Um, we're going to have to swap, oh crap, this is not good. Um, okay, he's going to use a fighting move, 100%. He has to use a fighting move against my Tyranitar. So let's switch to Golurk, and he's going to, boom, doesn't affect him. All right, awesome. And now let's go ahead and get an Earthquake off. Oh, he got a dark. Oh, man, that sucks so much. Oh, he's going to wipe our team. At GG, you wiping our team now. There's nothing we can do. I guess pull out Volcarona, try and get a burn on him. Probably going to one-shot our Volcarona now. That sucks so much. All right, that's just the level difference, though. There's, there's not really much we can do. It's just a level difference. We're 52, he's 80. Um... Ice type and you... Wait, what? Did this guy just pull out an ice type against a fire type? I think he did. Um, I guess we'll just use another flame charge. Yeah, I don't, I'm not really sure what he was thinking there. <laughs> um, I guess that's cool. Uh, pull out a Mew. Let's go ahead and pull out our... Now, he's gonna... Okay, let's think about this. He's gonna pull out his Lucario, I'm guessing, to counter our Tyranitar. And if we're gonna be smart, let's go ahead and actually... Click Earthquake. Um, if he switches to his Lucario, we'll get a free Earthquake off on him, and it might actually kill him. Oh, he sent out Larvesta. That sucks so much. Oh, my God. Oh, it killed him still. Oh, and now he's going to switch him out. All right, let's pull out Volcarona again. Oh, we have to be really careful here. Oh, geez, that's not good. That's not good at all. Drapion. 
Um, I don't think you're going to be able to do much of anything. We'll try to get off a of crunch. Probably not going to do much. Um, it might do something to a Mew. Yeah, yeah, that'll do something to a Mew for sure. Um, get off another crunch. He might not switch out. Yeah, there we go. All right, let's see. Rayquaza. Jeez, dude. All these legendaries and a Lucario. What is this? This is not a fair fight at all. Um, let's see. What do we want to use against a Rayquaza? I'm not too sure about this. Probably going to want to go with... Um, I don't think we really have any moves that are going to do much of anything to him. Venishock? I don't know. No, that didn't do anything. Um, Crunch, I guess. He's probably going to one-shot us here. Yeah, there we go. Um... All right, what do we want to do? All right, I'll pull out Tyranitar, and I can't really do much of anything because if I don't, if I use Earthquake and he swap, if I use any of these three moves and he swaps to Lucario, then I'm screwed because I just wasted a turn. But if I use Earthquake, it's not going to affect the Rayquaza, and he's going to get a free shot on me. All right, um, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and um, ah, I'm not sure. If he does knock out our Tyranitar, I say screw it and let's use the Max Revive on him. Um, so let's hit the... Alright, he's going to go with that. Cool, cool. Um, I guess hit him with the Stone Edge. Oh, jeez, we're about to die. And he's going to... He's hurt by his burn. Okay, that's good. Now, he's going to one-shot a Smeargle or a Breloom. Doesn't really matter who we swap to, but he's also going to one-shot our Tyranitar. I say let's go ahead and... Swap to Smeargle. Let's see what happens here. Close combat, super effective. Ah, screw this guy. We're not going to get any moves off. But maybe that burn will kill him. If we can get off a Spore, we'd... Yeah, yeah, okay. And we lost. GG. His stupid Lucario. Stupid, stupid Lucario. <laughs> oh, man. GG. Um... How many left? If that was all that he had left and I just went through two legendaries and a Lucario is all that beat me. Yeah, okay, he had two Pokemon left. Um, The thing is, most of his Pokemon were a lot higher levels than mine. Yeah, he still had a level 80 Mewtwo. Alright, <laughs> screw this guy. Um, It's not really a fair battle, but I did I did ask him for a rematch because he wanted one, so I said sure. Um, We need to work on our levels, I guess. That's really all we can do at this point. Um. We do have a decent team, it's just the level difference is killing us. And that Lucario is totally... Oh, man. Oh. Alright. Let's go ahead and actually get into another battle with another player so we can redeem ourselves. I'm not even I'm not even counting that battle. Screw that. <laughs> if someone has three legendaries and a Lucario, which is like your main counter for your whole team, then they really they should beat you. If they don't beat you, it's kind of sad. I'm kind of surprised we got as far as we did. Um basically what i'm doing right now is just trying to make it sound like i don't suck um okay anyways let's go ahead and see if we can get another player to battle maybe one that we can actually beat all right guys so i'm actually gonna go ahead and start training um let's check our egg i don't think we're gonna be anywhere near ready to hatch yet no still gray heart so we still have a ways to go with that but i'm gonna go ahead and just run around and train probably for the next not too sure how long. Just going to go until all my Pokemon are a higher level. Just because right now, that's our biggest challenge. Alright guys, so we just got a Golurk up to level uh, 60. I've been battling for quite a while here. I want to replace Nightshade because it is a special attack move and Golurk is um, physical attack. But yeah, so we actually have a pretty good move set on him now. Um, pretty well rounded and decent. Um... He is level 60, so I've gone up about 9 levels, I think. Um, just using my Lucky Egg. Quite a few other levels gained on my other Pokemon. The server is about to restart, though, so I will be back once that actually happens. Alright, so we actually just got our Drapion up to level 57, which means he's actually going to go ahead and learn Cross Poison. Now, I think this is actually a pretty good move. Um, let's go ahead and replace, I think, we have Crunch, so we don't really need Night Slash. Let's replace Night Slash with this Cross Poison move. Um, now, actually, we probably should, if we're looking at our Drapion, um, maybe actually even teach him a move like... Actually, let me just go ahead and look it up real quick. Um, I'll look up Drapion and see what moves we can actually learn. Because his moveset isn't really all that good at the moment. But I think he can actually learn... 
All right, so that was actually the last move he learns through leveling up. Um, Cross Poison, level 57 is the last move. However, I do think he can learn... Um... Oh, okay, so he actually can't learn Toxic. I was going to say maybe he can learn Toxic. Oh, yeah, he can. Okay, he can learn Toxic. So I'm thinking we put Toxic on this guy. Um, and then we'll be able to poison our enemy and then use Vinoshock, which if um, the enemy is poisoned, then it'll actually do 130 power, um, I think. Right, 60, 60 would be 120 plus the five. Yeah, yeah, me, me doing math. Um, so it'll actually double its power because the opponent is poisoned. So that'll be a really powerful move um, and a really powerful combo if we can get off both of those moves. Um, but I am not sure I want to waste my only toxic TM on doing that. Actually, I think there is probably toxic in the shop down here. So let me go ahead and see what category toxic actually falls into, what price range. And then we'll see if we actually want to go ahead and use it. All right, guys. So toxic is actually only a $5,000 TM. So I really don't feel too bad about going ahead and just throwing it on our Drapion right now. Um, might not be the best choice in the world, but... Um, I, I, it's only 5,000, so we can really gain that again if we ever really need Toxic really badly. Um, so let's go ahead and teach it to him. And let's actually replace, I think we're gonna have to replace Cross Poison. Um, it's only 5 more damage than Vinoshock anyways, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, now we have a pretty decent moveset on there. We did level up our Tyranitar, I think, one or two levels. Uh, Smeargle, only about five levels. Breloom, probably somewhere around the same. And Volcarona, a couple levels too. I think Volcarona actually learned... Right, Volcarona learned Heat Wave, which really powerful move, way better than Flame Charge, which is what we were using before. So let's go ahead and actually battle another player and see if our increased level Pokemon actually make a difference. Um, it should make a little bit of a difference now, a few of our Pokemon just aren't good. I think, I think, I don't know. I really like the idea of Smeargle, but he gets one shot every time. And same with Breloom. I really like both of these Pokemon, but they just get one shot so easily. Now that might be because we are facing opponents that have level 100 and level 80 and Pokemon that are 30 levels above them. So that could be the issue, but at the same time, I'm not too sure. So maybe we'll just keep leveling them up and see if we can actually... Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and see if anyone wants to battle me, and I'll be back. Alright, so Trinios actually just teleported me here. I'm kind of confused about what this actually is. He said he was going to let me have this Pokey loot, but this doesn't look like a normal Pokey loot. This is one of those loots that you can actually put your Pokemon inside. I'm pretty sure, so let's go ahead and see what this actually is. A horsey. So we were actually breeding to try and get a horsey, but let's see. Um, I think it's this one right here, right? I'm 90% sure it's this one. Um, let's go ahead and check what it is. So, brave, brave nature. Uh, I, bubble, bubble beam. I'm not, I'm not too sure why he. Maybe it was this one. Adamant. Oh yeah, no, that was our old one. So he gave me a horsey. I'm not. I, I don't. Why? Why? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. But thank you, thank you for the horsey. Um, we are trying to breed one, and it's kind of going slow. So that, yeah, that's cool. Um, actually, you know what? We should check. It's IVs. Ivy's, oh, oh, okay. Those are actually really, other than speed, those are really good IVs, actually. Um, 30 defense, 30 special attack, doesn't really matter. Oh, well, that does matter. Uh, attack doesn't matter. Um, HP 26, yeah, those are pretty good. Um, so actually, once we get our horsey from this, this little situation here, we can go ahead and breed it with this one that Trinios just gave us. And yeah, so thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Alrighty guys, so I'm actually back here battling the same person once again. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and actually um, start with, let's start with Smeargle here. Now, I'm not too sure this is actually going to work, but maybe if we can get off a Spore and then a Belly Drum and then, yeah, okay, so he's asleep. He's going to swap out his uh, Mew, I'm sure of it. So let's get off a Belly Drum and then just try to get a Baton Pass. Oh, geez, he's going to one-shot us. He's going to one-shot us. I don't think Baton Pass has priority. I don't think it does. So, actually, let's go ahead and switch over to Volcarona. Let's not lose our Smeargle with... Oh, geez. All right, so he's burned. Awesome. Instantly burned. That's a really good start to get this uh, guy out of the way. Now, we're not going to be able to outspeed a Lucario, so let's just hit a Heat Wave. Oh, okay, he's switching back to his Mew, and we're going to kill his Mew. He's making some bad choices here, man. Um, we actually, yeah, well, we will be able to outspeed the Mew. 
Now, he's sending out Larvesta. Um, I guess normal type takedown might be our best bet, but I'm going to go with a Heat Wave anyways. Yeah, that was a better choice. Good choice. Um, okay, let's see. Who is he going to send out now? Articuno. Why would you send out an Articuno again against my Volcarona? Not too sure about that move. Um, I'm just wiping his whole team with his Volcarona. The levels really helped. Um, <laughs> at 2 HP. That is kind of really sad. Hit the Heat Wave. He's probably going to one-shot me here. Well, not one-shot, but finish me off here. I have 2 HP. All right, there we go. Oh! Oh, geez. Um, we might be able to get a bat and pass off. I don't want to go for the spore. I want to go for the bat and pass. I mean, it doesn't matter. Either way, if we get the spore, then we will have hit the bat and pass. So let's hit with the... Yeah, yeah. That sucks. Okay. Let me go ahead and let's see. Who do we want to put up against this guy? I think we want to go with Tyranitar. Now, he might swap out. Now, we made the mistake last time of actually going ahead and... um using earthquake when we should just hit stone edge on him there we go yeah one shot that that was a good choice there um yeah okay let's see <laughs> um harambe level 80 oh my gosh um what is this this is oh gosh this is mewtwo that's what this is and we actually have crunch now which should be double damage as well as it's a physical move so it'll have that huge damage spike um he did confuse us please don't get Oh, it hurt. Oh. Oh, that's a bad one. That's a bad one. That was evil. Um, yeah, we're not going to get this off. He's going to kill us here. Um, now what we can actually go ahead and do is switch over to Drapion and try to get off a crunch. Oh, jeez. I'm not sure if I want to do this. Um, might be a bad move, but I'm going to try it anyways. Probably going to one-shot us with his level 81. All right, all right. We did pretty good damage there. Now, let's see. He might swap out. Not too sure. Doesn't affect Drapion. And let's see. Use Crunch. All right, we took out his level 81 with our 57 Drapion. Not bad. We still have our Golurk to go up against this Lucario, but I'm not going to switch out. Let's... All right, Toxic won't actually do anything because he's already burned. Now, he's probably going to one-shot our Drapion, I'm guessing. So let's take this chance. Okay, you know what? Do we not have any battle items? What is it? All right. Now, this is kind of, like, super scummy <laughs> because we've never really said if items were allowed or not, but we never said they weren't allowed. So let's just go ahead and hit up our Tyranitar. Um, oh, do we want to use it on our Volk? I think we want to use it on our Tyranitar. I think we do. Oh, man, I don't know. It might be better on this guy. Ah, but this guy's such a higher level, but he has his Lucario as well as his Mew. No, he killed his Mewtwo. Hmm, not too sure about this. Let's just go with Volcarona. No, no, let's go with Tyranitar. Screw it, and he won't even know that we did that, so that's pretty good. Um, yeah, why waiting? Because I was, I was planning evil things. All right, he feigned our Drapion. Now let's go ahead and switch over to uh, Golurk and try to get off an earthquake if we can get one off and he killed us oh man that sucks so much i hate that he's such a high level i hate that he's a level 91 that's the worst um we just can't can't do anything because he's 30 levels above us um now if we were matched even level i'm sure we would take him down pretty easily um i guess our only option here is to hope that he yeah we, he's dead first shot but that burn will do oh man this sucks it's gonna happen again it's going to happen again. There we go. One shot or Tyranitar. GG. Um, yeah, we just wasted a max revive. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, the burn killed him! The burn killed him! Oh my god, the burn killed him. Oh yeah, that's what you get. Alright, that was amazing. Yes, we won. We won. I won. Ha <laughs> ha. We still have 309 health on our Tyranitar. What do you mean you won? There are no rules against using items. That was not in the rule book. I didn't see that anywhere. Now, I admit it was probably pretty scummy to actually do that, but it wasn't against any rules. It's part of Pokemon. Anyways, that was kind of cheaty. But then again, he does have three legendaries as well as a level 91 Lucario. So, eh, was it cheating? Was it not cheating? I don't know. I feel like we deserve to win that. 
All right, guys, I'm actually going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time.